classification problems. Whether it is CNRT, Chase, Busset Tree, Random Forest, or Mount Line, they are all classification problems. Okay? So, let's go and select our volume. Maybe we can add the, the software to show us the appropriate. So, iris type is a dependent volume. But is it categorical? Yes. Okay. And the other ones are continuous, right? We select our variable. and give you the next window so you can start proceeding to your result. Now, in every classification problem that we dealt with in the previous week, what do we need to see? What do we need to see? We, because it's a classification problem. So we need to see the tree, right? Because you need to know what kind of result you are looking for when you are doing a classification problem. Just like when you are doing um, association rules, you need to know the result you are expecting. So you need to know where to go get it. So, what do we need? Take a look at this window here. What do we need? Okay, we need the tree graph. Oh, my mouse was already on it, so it was easy to say. Okay, we need the tree graph, and we can see how they are classified, okay? Based on fetal length being lower or equal than 4.85, we have two classes that are identified, okay? Versicle and virginic. Virginic is an end node, okay? So they don't 
proceed any further. So in this versicle, now we proceed again and we have E and no E. Okay? Setusa and versicle. That's how we identify our E classes very different. Now, what else do we need to know? If you remember the classification problems that we did before, what else do we need to know? There are many different things you might want to know, okay? For example, you might want a full summary of your results, or you might want to see the risk estimates, or which predictor is more important or their importance. This is things that you might want to see, okay? Apart from that, we might want to go to classification, okay? You see, we were in quick, now we're going to classification. And we're gonna check the test set. We could also check all sample, but we check the test set. We, we, will, we wanna see how we classified or how we misclassified, seeing what was predicted parallel to what is observed. Okay? Number Let's say it's really because we don't have a yeah, we don't need to go many. Yeah, we don't need to go The importance, you see the particular importance, but in just case on paper lens, it's good enough. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. The second one is use the pedal wise. Oh, because okay. if you go back to our tree graph, how many from each class do we have at first? If you remember the data set properly, we had 50 from each species, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't need 80. Actually, we don't have 80 in a species, right? So let's go back for the classification. We set it on 8 and 40. And we, we will see the prediction versus the observed. Yeah. So how many mistakes did we have? Last time, actually, Professor said it, we already knew the result. That's why we use the same data set. So if you remember, we only had three misclassifications. And here we have one of them. any other data set to run it. You can practice this kind of skills at home, okay? Now, how about, you? we already know the result. How about you try with the workspace? So everybody open a workspace and select in the load browser, Can choose the same data set you open in the workspace. Yes, with the test the set data mining. Even you can see the lip and lip chart. Yeah. The prediction report. Based on the, the type of analysis you are running, or based on what you are doing, because remember, you are the leader, you are in charge. You know what kind of analysis you need and what you are running it for. Because you already know what you need, you are the one who knows which result is more appropriate for you to display in your paper or in your report. Just move at a center, your same half file already open there. Okay. So where do we go to select our analysis in the workspace again? 
mouth grows, uh, right? Sometimes I'm asking questions and my mouth is already on it, so I, I need to remove the mouse. So we go to the node browser. What do I go to get this analysis again? Okay, you go to data mining. Okay, you see, you guys know better than me now, right? And where do I go next? Yeah, so random files belong to tree and the partition. You need to know where to get your stuff, okay? And what are we looking at? Okay, random forest. So, what kind of problem are we dealing with? Is it a regression problem or a classification problem? A classification problem. So we select the, the appropriate analysis, right? So we go and set our parameters. We double click on, on it. So okay. the variable. And we select the variable. Same process as before. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Go back to the board. My question is, yes, this is a classification problem. Proper classification problem is belong to supervised learning or unsupervised learning problem. Answer. Don't look at me. It's the first week, right? It was the first and week. Our first homework. I read somebody from what? So from here, we click on OK, right? So for the classification, you can see it's still the same pattern that we had earlier when we used the, the moving window. If you go through every single step, you will see there are no difference. So you remember what we selected before? We will do the same thing until we get to the results. Advanced. How many numbers of number of predictors? Okay, good. Chinese, 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 huh? And stopping condition in the ball. Okay. Now let's go to the result. If there's something we don't need, we can uncheck the mark. But if we need everything, we check everything. Okay. Which symbol? Heads. Okay, no, I, I wanted them to answer. <laughs> you see, they forgot. I want to use the test, okay? You can choose the sum test set. If, wait, hold on. You can split in a sample size into two. One is for test, the other is for learning, the other is for testing, okay? Or just analysis. You don't want to split your sample size. So we will also want to see our misclassification. So we need to see the prediction versus the observation, right? Okay, they said, okay, the generator. We don't need the codes. Remember, we are not using any programming software after that with this code. So we don't need the code. We uncheck the boxing. And we can move towards the result. Let me see what my thing is. Okay, let's What? Okay, prediction? No. Not prediction. We don't we already have predicted versus observed, so we don't really need this. Because in the previous section, I believe, you can see the chart. We will read the result. The good thing about Statistica 13 is like, you can move those freely anyway. And we can see the result here. See, this is the summary of the result. The importance of the predictors. Okay. The table that shows you the importance of the predictors in the estimation of the, of the risk. Now, the most important result for us is the tree graph. Do you see anything different in our tree graph than before? No. Anything different? Did you close your previous result? Do 
Do you have anything different? so many things that's why we have so many results and now we have the predicted value and we can see the the observed versus predicted there's something different this time do so you guys see it two mistakes yeah just two mistakes So, if I remember clearly, in the result I found before, in the one I have found now, the one that is predicted correctly now, let me change the color, is this one. If you remember, in what I found earlier, let me show you, it was 130 that looked different. is at the margin. It's almost 50-50. So maybe the algorithm runs this time and find it as a mistake. Or maybe next time it runs, it doesn't identify it as a mistake. Because it's almost close to 50%. It's like, I'm looking at Dr. Jan and say, do you look like your mom or your dad? Uh, it's almost 50-50. You know? I'm looking at him, I'm, I cannot make sure. So sometimes I think, okay, he looks a little bit more like his father, or, oh, this time he's smiling, he looks more like his mother. So you see, it's almost 50 50. So that's one case where, okay, this time the classification might be right, next time the classification might be wrong. Random polyester, while they build up their model, maybe this case be test before or after the model mature or not. You know what I mean? Some of the most jelly ones that the girl had like this one. Now, this sample, 130, sometime be tested before the model mature or after the model build up. Exactly, because I was looking for my AC person again. AC, I didn't find it. Now when it sh this should be that should have been set to 40, okay? Just like we did before. Well, my personal preference, that's why I prefer using the moving window because things are more in order in my eyes. I got more control, but that's me. That's me. That's my personal preference. Okay. So with that being uh -huh. yes? 